What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Technically Adulthood with Jewel Simone. Of course, I am her. I'm really excited to see y'all back here. So let's just get on started. And first of all, I don't know who I just turned into, like a Southern Belle or something. Okay, sometimes I do this really weird thing where, oh, hold on, my camera's moving. Okay, there we go. Sometimes I do a really weird thing where I get stuck in an accent that isn't mine. So like, I love to like, play around in accents just because like I used to be a thespian and it's just like really cool for me um but then sometimes I'll get stuck in them like I just can't stop doing an accent so I feel like that's just what happened just now um with that southern accent I mean don't get me wrong I love a good you know southern bell twang but I I was in the sunken place for sure and now I'm free Welcome back to Technically Adulthood. Okay, first things first, I was so excited to get on this podcast and talk about this. I want to say publicly that I am going to encourage every single person watching this right now to start doing a family pyramid in their family and like ranking the people that are in their household because the way that I have been treated since last week's episode and my family members saw where they ranked on the pyramid, it's like night and day. First of all, some people are showing their true colors. Um, I'm gonna save that for later, you guys. will see that when I reveal the pyramid and where everybody is this week. But my dad literally has been so obsessed with the fact that he got third place, number one. Number two, the fact that he was behind my mom. Like that is like a constant, Thing in our family my dad is always saying that like oh I favor my mom and whatever and so to like then come on my podcast and see that he was in third place and my mom was in second he's really not taking it well and so he has been bribing me with like the other day he bought me breakfast and was just like hey um don't forget this when it comes time to make the pyramid he's like just you know breakfast for you um, I knew you were hungry, so I brought you breakfast. Um, I don't know if that has anything to do with like my points or anything, but just don't forget. And then he's literally been sending me these text messages all day where he's like, oh my gosh, remember that one time I was your dad and did this dadly thing? Yeah, I guess it's just the kind of dad I am. So be sure to remember that when you're making the pyramid. It literally is so funny. Like, I feel like I'm getting the five star treatment, but you know what, actually, that's kind of what I wanted because last week I said on the pyramid that my dad wasn't giving me enough attention and he wasn't, and that has changed completely. So if you guys have any grievances about how anyone in your family is treating you, I 10 out of 10 recommend doing a pyramid. You don't have to like post it anywhere if that's not your thing, but just like make a video send it in the family group chat and literally watch it work magic for itself. It's literally, my life has been so good ever since then. Um, what else this week? This week has been a really weird week. I have my notes right here, guys, um, just so I remember what to talk about. So if you see me looking down, that's what's happening just because there are some things that I want to make sure I talk about. Um, yeah, so this week I, I had a couple of days where I was just like in a funk. Do you guys, who can relate? Who can relate? Um, no, but like I was kind of just in a mood. I wasn't really feeling so well. Like, do you guys ever just like get so like emotionally like down that you feel like it's affecting your physical health? Like you're like, I feel sick, but I'm not actually sick. But like, you know, whatever. Who, who can relate? Anyway, so I was down for a couple days. And so on the second day that I was down, I was like, you know what? Like, I'm gonna treat myself to some Chick-fil-A nuggets because lately I've been trying to like watch my weight, um, watch what I'm eating, lose weight, all that good stuff. It hasn't really been going that great, but I'm a survivor and I'm gonna figure it out regardless. Anyway, um, I went to Chick-fil-A to get some nuggets because I love, love, love chicken nuggies from chick-fil-a i went to the bridge in chick-fil-a though if you're in st louis um 10 out of 10 do not recommend doing that 
I feel like this is kind of rude to just say. First of all, who's watching this podcast anyway? Probably nobody. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't really have good experiences at the Chick the British and Chick Fil A. If you guys want to have the best customer service you've ever had in your life, I recommend going to the Chick Fil A on Stadium Boulevard in Columbia, Missouri. No, I'm not biased. It is the best Chick Fil A ever. Anyway, get there, get my nuggets. That's really all I wanted. So all I got was just a 12 pound nugget, and I really wanted barbecue sauce and Polynesian sauce. Can you guess where this is going? Okay. The one thing I really wanted was just to have chicken nuggets and barbecue sauce and Polynesian sauce. I look in my bag. What kind of sauce did they put in there? Can you guys guess? Leave a comment right now below what kind of sauce you think they put in there. Oh wait, are you done? Okay, Chick-fil-A sauce. Was there barbecue sauce in sight? No. Was there Polynesian sauce in sight? No. And don't get me wrong, I love Chick-fil-A sauce. I went through like a Chick-fil-A sauce phase where it was like all I wanted, but that's all it was, was a phase because don't hate me, but I don't think Chick-fil-A sauce is the best sauce. First of all, I think honey roasted barbecue is literally just the same as Chick-fil-A sauce, just a little bit better in a way. Um, and regardless of any of that, it's not what I came for. I came for barbecue sauce and Polynesian sauce. So I sat in my car in, the Bridgeton parking lot of the Chick-fil-A and I cried. I literally cried. There were tears coming from my eyes because I had Chick-fil-A sauce in my bag. So if you were wondering what kind of week I've been having, just take a minute to picture me sitting in the parking lot. It's nine o'clock at night of the Bridgeton Chick-fil-A. I didn't want to go there anyway, but it's the closest one to my house and um, I was like, whatever, like maybe they'll get it. Maybe it'll be fine this time. Like just go to the closer one. It doesn't, cause usually I'll go out of my way to go to a better Chick-fil-A. But I was like, no, just give them a chance. So picture me having an internal battle about whether or not I should even go to this Chick-fil-A. Then I go to this Chick-fil-A and they give me the wrong sauce. And now I'm crying at nine o'clock at night in my car in um, the parking lot of British, Missouri. So I just want everyone to sit with that mental image. Um, for a minute and that's pretty much how this week has been going um, another thing that happened this week that was so so fun for me um, I share a car with my brother because oh, we're not wealthy hello middle class check and um, he's working right now I'm not as you guys know if you've watched last week's episode um, and so sometimes I'll take them to work, not all the time, but just like if I have somewhere that I want to go or like whatever. But so I want to say it was like Wednesday or Thursday, not entirely sure, but I guess it's not really that relevant, is it? Um, anyway, I was taking Josh to work because I had plans and I take him, he works in the mornings all day. And so when I take him, I usually don't like do anything. Like I get out of bed and I put on shoes and I just go because I'm planning on getting right back into bed as soon as I'm done taking him. And because I'm a black woman and I care about myself, I wear a bonnet at night. So usually when I take him, I will keep my bonnet on. Um, Cause I don't care. I just don't care. I'm not planning on getting out of the car, whatever. So I take him, I go. And then when I come back to the house, my dad is in the kitchen and he's like, where are you coming from? He sees me that I'm wearing my bonnet and he's like, where are you coming from? Like, why do you look like that? Just like verbally assaulting me and just like berating my appearance. He's like, why would you go outside in a bonnet? You can't go outside in a bonnet. And I was like, says who? And he's like, says me. And I was like, oh, I was like, I understand what's happening right now. So I got a piece of paper and a pen and I drew him this really cute little diagram just to like help him understand and just let him know that I'm on the same page as him. I said, well, dad, this is where this, this, this is what we call women's business. And I drew him this nice little dot and I was like, well, this is where you are. Do you see how you're in women's business? And so right outside that circle, we have something called men's business or your business um and so somehow i don't know how it happened you know i don't know i'm not gonna place blames or point fingers but somehow you ended up in women's business and uh, i'm not you know whatever but i do just want to make you aware of the fact that that's where you are right now and you are welcome to leave at any point in time like 
I want to know what gives him, gives him the right to tell me where I can and can't wear my bonnet. Like, if I want to wear my bonnet to Harpo's in Columbia, Missouri, I'll wear my bonnet to Harpo's in Columbia, Missouri. Okay? Thank you. What else? Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, so I watch my cousin Blake in the mornings. Um, that's like my only job right now. Um, just to like give Bridget some time to like get her work done and um, gives me something to do, honestly. So I watch in the mornings and I'm supposed to be like kind of teaching her. Like we're doing letters and shapes and numbers and just like really good stuff. Um, well, so I decided that it would be good for us to start learning things beyond just like the normal day-to-day -day, like school lessons. And so I decided I just wanna work with her on like her emotions and her coping mechanisms and everything like that. And so I've started teaching her a British accent. Um, I feel like a lot of people my, under, my age will understand this, the importance of mastering a British, British accent um, from a really early age, just because like whenever you're feeling something, whenever you're going through something, like you might just wanna switch to a British accent, like, you never know when it's gonna come over you, like it'll help you with your emotions, yeah? And I think it's really important that she understands. And so we, she has babes, babes was the first word. And I, if I can right now, I'll insert a clip of her saying it. Um, if I don't insert this clip, I'm just not good with technology and you guys are gonna have to be okay with that and take my word for it. But she can say babes, and she can say water. Hi, babes. That to me is the greatest feeling ever. Just watching that light bulb go off and teaching her that accent so that she can have something to use to cope and to handle her emotions with um, is priceless. It's really priceless. Okay, so that's my life. That was this week. That was everything I've been through, everything I've been doing. And so for now, I wanna start talking about like a topic of the week. I think that's kind of how I want to do it. It's like give you guys a fill in on what's been going on and like get into like a more specific topic or sometimes I'll just talk about a topic or sometimes I'll just talk about my week. I, like I said, we're going to just kind of go with the flow. I would love to hear some feedback from you guys about like what you guys want to hear more about. Um, just like call me, beat me if you want to reach me. You can like text me or um, like leave a comment or like whatever. Just figure out a way to just let me know like what you guys are vibing with, like what kind of talks you want to have. Um, well, so anyway, today's or this week's topic is on dating. That is something I am not doing a lot of. I wouldn't say I'm dating a lot. Um, I would more so say I'm not dating at all. Um, and it's kind of getting to a point where it's like actually worrying me. Like, I, not like seriously worrying me because I really don't like when people are like, oh my God, I'm forever alone. And they're like 20 years old, but I'm 22. And so I kind of, I don't know. I kind of feel like I might be rounding the corner in a way. Sorry, I'm trying to like, look at my notes okay you caught me i'm cheating during an open book test what do you want me to say anyway um yeah so i have had dating apps before like i've done tinder i've tried bumble i don't really like bumble because i'm not clever enough to like think of something to be able to say to someone and so i can't like i can't use bumble i really just can't um natalie shout out to natalie hi uh, my friend natalie says she always just says like hey -o. like but that makes me kind of cringe no offense Natalie um it just makes me I don't know I just I want to have something cool to say but I 10 out of 10 times don't so I'm like on and off again with tinder basically I'll go like a three month span like being like fine whatever I'll just like meet the right person like at a library or something like I'll just be like walking down the street and like Blake Griffin will like get out of his car and he'll like run up to me and be like, 
hey jewel like are you jewel like i've seen you on the internet and i just think you're like really gorgeous and i just like really want to date you and then i'll start dating like griffin and we'll get married um and then when three months have gone by and that hasn't happened for me i'm like well i might as well get on tinder and that's another thing i'm a little embarrassed to say this on the internet but um i feel like it it needs to be said and if anybody can relate like i'm happy to like start a support group for us or like whatever um i blake griffin is like the love of my life and i for so long have not even been interested in dating anyone because I didn't want to meet anyone because I didn't want to be like in a serious relationship when I met Blake Griffin because then I would be faced with having to choose between this person I've just spent like a year of my life with loving and growing and getting to know and Blake Griffin and I never wanted to be in that position and as I'm saying it out loud it sounds crazy and irrational but it really was how I was thinking I was like I would hate to like fall in love with someone and have to break up with them because Blake Griffin decided he's ready like it sounds crazy but it really is how I've been thinking for a very long time um but now I just don't have the energy to date and it's kind of like on the one hand, I recognize that I'm running out of time, which like not really because I'm only 22, but like I would like to have a certain number of experiences before I like settle down. Um, I can't be tamed as Miley Cyrus would say. And that's the thing. It's like I'm running out of time to like have those experiences and be settled by a certain age, which I mean, you make your plans and God laughs, oh, ha, ha. but I would love to be able to stick to those plans sometimes. I'm kind of not getting the joke. I don't understand why God laughs when we make plans, um, but I kind of would like to stick with the idea that I'm going to meet Blake Griffin walking down the street one day. But yeah, so that hasn't happened yet. I'm on Tinder right now, actually. Not like right now, like as I'm filming this, but like right now, like like when I stop recording, I'll probably get swiping. But that's the thing. It's like, I can't even swipe for like five minutes without getting bored. It's exhausting. No one has anything to say. Like no one, it's just ugh, it's so boring. It's boring. It's really boring. And I know that like Tinder's not the best place to be looking for people, but I've tried the library, you know? I've I've tried all the cliche spots, the club. I've tried looking for love in the club. I can't find it. So I guess tenor is the only other option for me. One thing I will say is it's like really weird to be in this stage now where like everyone around me is getting married. Like my best friend just got engaged. Um, I've seen like just basically every person that was in my sorority is in a long-term relationship or they are engaged now. And like, I'm not hating. I'm not, I'm not jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous, what do you mean? I'm not even, I'm not even jealous. Like that's not what I'm seeing. What I'm seeing is, I think it's beautiful. I think it's really happy. I'm really happy for them. Um, did that sound believable? Um, no, I'm kidding. I really am happy for like everyone that's in love, but I just think it's like a, it's such a weird time where I'm like, I'm literally on Tinder. Like that's embarrassing. That's an embarrassing thing to admit about myself on the internet. Like, it's just crazy how like I'm at this stage dating and like people that are my same age or just maybe a step above me in life are like engaged in like planning their future with someone. Like it's just a really weird thing to like sit there and look to your left and this person's getting married and you look to your right and this person's like, I don't know, like just like me. It's just weird. Oh yeah, I, I can't stop making boob jokes. Um, and I, I'm, I'm not sure why, and I kind of don't really know what to do with this information, but I did want to get it out there um, in case there were any licensed professionals who can tell me why I am choosing to revert to the mental stage of a 
12 year old boy um, with my sense of humor if you guys just want to comment down below but I yeah I literally can't stop saying the word boob and then laughing Let's do the pyramid. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the Pain Family Pyramid. So this week we have seven spots because there was someone who really impacted my life this week that deserved to be mentioned on the pyramid, even though they aren't in the household. So down on the very, very bottom, um, and I mean really, really, really way far down on the pyramid, a lot farther down in this, it just wouldn't fit in the frame. Um, to give you some perspective, once you reach the pits of hell, you're halfway there. That's how far down this spot is. We have my very best friend, Lena. Why is she my best friend and on the bottom of the period? Great question. I'm glad you asked and I'll answer it. Once she watched the podcast, she decided to do her own pyramid for my family and I wasn't on the top. I don't understand how she could come to that conclusion considering she's my friend, but here we are. Next, in sixth place, we have Josh. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Joshua got a little bit cocky last week when I put him on the top and he was being kind of rude. So here he is. In fifth place, we have Blake. Now I feel kind of bad about this because she hasn't done anything like wrong. She's just not contributing that much to my life right now. She was out of out of the house for a couple of days um, during the week at her dad's and so I didn't really get that much interaction with her. Next we have Bridget. She has been cutting down severely on her Instagram DMs and I really appreciate that. Um, fourth place is not bad. It's not bad at all. In third place we have my mother. Now if you would ask me about this in the morning I would say she'd be dead last down here with Lena because I couldn't fall asleep last night. I didn't go to bed till like four o'clock in the morning and she still woke me up at the crack of dawn to clean the kitchen. Not cool. In second place, we have me, myself, and I, because guys, I played for a job yesterday. And like, I wrote a cover letter and it was all very exciting. And so I feel like I'm not as lazy as I was before. And in the first place, we have my dad. Now it's not because he bribed me. And even if it was, mind your business, okay? My dad does so much for me. Um, I just can't even begin to explain it. We have so much fun. He offered to let me drive the golf cart today while he's playing golf. He fills my gas tank. There was a leak in the sink in the kitchen and he called the plumber. Like he just gets it done. So dad had a good week. This is my pyramid. See you next time. I'm not like most girls. Why? Why? Why?